are these people? Speaking of Thanksgiving, let's just go and do that bit. So, um, every year, uh, the oh, we're zoomed. Uh, United American Indians of New England um, do this event um, that they call the National Day of Mourning, right? And this is the 54th annual National Day of Mourning. So this is at Coal Hill above Plymouth Rock, right? At what time? 12 noon is when it starts, I think. 12 noon. Yeah. 12 noon. And there is a live stream, which you can go watch. Um, it's in 35 hours, I guess. Um, this might be, if I refresh, it probably would work. Um, but yeah, links are in the description below for watching something actually important tomorrow other than football. So, you know, I feel like that's important, but they say since 1970, indigenous people and their allies have gathered at noon on Coles Hill in Plymouth. To commemorate a national day of mourning on the U.S. Thanksgiving holiday, many Native people do not celebrate the arrival of the pilgrims and other European settlers. Thanksgiving Day is a reminder of the genocide of millions of Native people, the theft of Native lands, and the erasure of Native culture. Participants in National Day of Mourning honor Indigenous ancestors and Native resilience. It is a day of remembrance and spiritual connection as well as a protest against the racism and oppression that Indigenous people continue worldwide um and you found something that goes along with this right um, well i, do I think believe... we both did but we didn't know we didn't know about it until just before we went live that we were thinking of the same thing so yeah there's a bus um, from brooklyn leaves at six um so yeah but link to this article is in the description as well so go go check that out um but you, you, we, we both found this, right? Which is some of our yeah. favorite uh, Irish TikTokers. Um, and they're going to explain to you how this works. I can't hear it, by the way. Here all my life. And I don't like taking it from you, buddy. Wow. <laughs> this is an amazing place I've just discovered. Discovered? Well, I've lived here all my life. And I don't like taking it from you, buddy. But it's destiny, unfortunately. Manifest destiny, have you heard of it? Not a reader, no. <gasps> Get out. Okay, but if you resist, it's actually my God-given right and duty to murder you and your entire family. What the f- I know. God's mental, isn't he? What to do? You could change everything about yourself and be more like me? I wouldn't mind you around the place so much then. <laughs> I don't want to be like you. And by the way, are you sick? Should you even be- No, I'm fine. It's just a small pox. Suppose we could share, like I get the kitchen, bedrooms, living room, attic okay for you? Oh, what am I like? Sure, who knows what treasure might be in the attic? Garden, do you? Oh, I have a head like a sieve. Sure, I can build on here. Is there anywhere for me to go that would be acceptable to you? Would you manage alright in there? What a day, huh? <laughs> How about a celebratory dinner? Supposedly to mark some fairy tale about you and I coming together harmoniously, but essentially about me giving thanks to God for providing me with the justification to ruin you. Should I make a reservation? I feel, I feel like that yeah. that says it right there. Um, yeah. So enjoy your turkey and all that, but, you know, uh, also r remember what actually happened and ruin yeah. it for your friends and family. Like... Well, no, don't do that. <laughs> but, uh, no, I feel like we've had this. We actually did. Yeah. I think we talked about this in depth last year. And actually, if you want to learn more about the wow. National Day of Morning. We actually read through the whole thing. If you check one of our clips from this time last year, you'll find it. Yep. Um, but I'm fairly certain last year when we did our live stream, Thanksgiving live stream, we kind of talked about how to deal with family members in lieu of, you know, politics and all that kind of stuff. I'm fairly certain. But, yep. you know, I think in light of, 
it's just it's hard to think about Thanksgiving this year in terms of knowing that history with the Native Americans in terms of what is happening in Palestine right now. So I think obviously we want you guys to enjoy the day tomorrow and obviously enjoy the time that you have off if you have off and then your friends and family and enjoy good food, hopefully. Um, but also I think be reflective of why we have the holiday to yep. begin with and think about in terms of, you know, what's happening in the Middle East right now. And then mm -hmm. obviously think about what's happening in our country in terms of, you know, people may not have a home to go to for Thanksgiving or, you yep. know, just, it's been a hard, it's been a hard several years, but I argue that this, especially this year has been extremely hard for a lot of people. So, you know, money is tight for most folks. Um, you know, food has gone up. So I think just being reflective of that and see, you know, as we head into the holiday season formally, being able to figure out how you can best serve the people in your community so that their lives are a little better uh, in terms of what will be happening over the next few weeks and probably into next year, depending how... Uh, international geopolitics go yeah and uh speaking of international geopolitics i think tomorrow misty has gabriel shipton on five o'clock eastern i do believe um for a little thanksgiving treat for everyone but uh you brought some 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 noms for people to figure out